Let's Sorry. spare Shahrukh's blushes. Correct, correct. Yeah, so. Anything else? So this is for both the bands actually because you guys have also composed for films. Uh, your music sensibilities as an indie musician and a band are very different from the sound of Bollywood. So how do you kind of create that fine balance when you're working on projects? And is, is, is Bollywood restrictive for you guys? Because, you know, yeah. it, it is for many mainstream composers. So for you guys as indie musicians, that's it. Well, actually, uh, what's happened over the last few years is that Bollywood in itself is seeing a big change. There are a lot of new directors, new music directors, singers. Uh, that old institution of three big music directors and four, two females and two males singing almost everything is all gone. And that, that was just not right anyway. Um, and this, this new breed of directors who want to experiment with the music in their films, and rightly so. Uh, and so what happens is that bands like us get a chance. Uh, there are singers, songwriters. Uh, who will now get a chance to do music for Bollywood. So Bollywood is ev evolving finally. And uh, you know, I feel like it's very strange to see that we had two or three years ago in this venue, we had a film for a film, which was also a lot of this type, Peeply Life. We were doing this for three years ago. And today we are coming here. Correct. Do you want to say something? Do you want to say something? No, I want to say something. I want to say something. More so, what has happened is, uh, I think uh, the taste of audiences have become uh, a lot more wider in terms of the internet, radio, people are listening to different kinds of music. And uh, uh, there is no typical Bollywood sound really now. Uh, people are uh, open to listening to anything from country to rock and roll to uh, uh, mainstream songs. You can't say that, okay, this is a commercial song and this is not a commercial song. So, um, Rehman has gone and done a pure jazz song in Jane Tu Ya Jane Na and it became a big hit. So, uh, you can't really pinpoint, there's no, there's no real formula to uh, what a commercial song is. Uh, likewise, uh, people like us who do a kind of music, uh, directors and producers, they hear our sound and they're coming to us for our sound. After listening to our private albums, they're listening to those kind of songs and they think that, okay, on a bigger platform, which is Bollywood, uh, this same song will probably get 10 times more appreciation because, uh, uh, you know, 100% more people will hear this song. So I remember Rahul Ram saying this, that uh, I was watching